she wants to know if it's possible to be illuminated, enlightened in one life. In one minute. In, in um minuto, ela one diz. second. Num segundo. But you have to develop during your lifetime in order to become completely illuminated. That's ela all. diz que pode ser num segundo, mas você deve desenvolver esse processo durante a tua vida toda para que seja completa. At the time of initiation, you are immediately illuminated. Assim que você é iniciada, imediatamente você está iluminado. Immediately enlightened. Imediatamente iluminado. And you can see it. You can prove it to yourself. E você pode ter a prova disso. Not blind faith. Não é uma fé no escuro. You see it with your inner eye. You hear it with your inner ear. Você vê com o seu terceiro olho, com a sua, com o seu som interior. You see the Buddha nature, the God nature. Você sente a, a natureza do Buda imediatamente. That's why it's called immediate enlightenment. Por isso é que se chama a iluminação imediata. Why is it possible? Because God is within ourselves. Buddha is within ourselves. Por que é possível? Immediately. Porque Deus está dentro da gente. It's just like I am here and if I put a, a veil. In front of my face, and you don't see me. É como se eu tivesse aqui colocasse esse papel na minha frente, vocês não me veriam. But because you know I'm here, so you just put this down and you see me. Mas vocês sabem que eu tô aqui, é só tirar yeah. esse papel que vocês me veem. Immediately like that. Imediatamente, é assim mesmo. So between us and God, there is a, a very thin veil. Entre nós e Deus existe um véu muito transparente. A master know how to. O mestre sabe to draw como tirar away. esse véu. And we can see God, we see e aí Buda. a gente pode ver Bo Deus okay. ou Buda. But it takes some years to develop full potential of our wisdom. Mas leva um determinado tempo para se desenvolver o potencial todo da nossa sabedoria. To make use. Para usar. For example, we have a radio. Por exemplo, se você tem um rádio. Many channels. Muitos canais. It takes some time to know which channels have what. Yeah, leva um tempo para você decorar em que canal tem o quê. Or we have a great house uh, left behind by our father. Se nós te, nós ganhamos uma, uma casa muito grande do It nosso pai. It takes a long time to see into each room to know what treasure we Leva have. Leva bastante tempo para conhecer todos os quartos. The Queen of England. A rainha da Inglaterra. Elizabeth II. A Elizabeth II. It is told that she is very rich. Dizem que ela é muito rica. Because of the antique inheritance. Por causa das, das antigas uh, relíquias que ela tem. It is said that up to now she she doesn't even know the whole of her treasure. Dizem que a essa altura ela já não tem mais ideia do da, da, da she, do tesouro que know, ela tem. She only knows some part of it. Ela conhece só parte dele. Because she has too much. <laughs> ela tem demais. Similarly, we have a kingdom within. We have God's wisdom. Buddha's wisdom within Similar, us. Similar, nós temos essa natureza de Buda dentro de nós. But it takes few hours every day to discover what we have. Mas nós precisamos de algumas horas todos os dias para descobrir o que nós temos. Hence, the quiet time for meditation. É preciso de tempo para meditação. Uh, meditation is a time for discovery. Meditação é o tempo de descoberta. <laughs> to discover what we still have inside. Descoberta do que nós temos dentro de nós. Apart from our intelligence. A, a, o poder da nossa inteligência. How to make money. <laughs> Como fazer dinheiro. How to raise children. Como educar How nossos filhos. How to teach mathematics. Como estudar matemática. Parte de tudo How isso. How to make airplane. Como construir aviões. What more do we still have? Tudo, tudo mais que possa ser. A parte de tudo isso você ainda tem que ter o tempo da meditação. That we will discover with everyday meditation. Isso você vai descobrir okay. meditando todos os dias. That's how Jesus, Buddha, Krishna, Muhammad, Lao etc., become great. That uh, as foi assim que Buda, todos os deuses se tornaram grandes. All the masters are great. Todos os mestres são grandes. Mm. I have many masters. Eu tenho muitos mestres. Yeah, I worship and love all the masters. Eu amo todos os meus mestres. Past and present. Passado e presente. Hey. Okay. Yes. Whatever master you worship is also my master. Seja qual for o mestre que você segue, também é o meu mestre. If you love Jesus, he is also my beloved. Se é Jesus que você ama, ele também é o meu amado If mestre. If you worship Buddha, he is also my master. Se você ama Buda, também é o meu oh. amado mestre. Krishna, who... actually, let me explain more about Kuan Yin. Deixe me explicar mais sobre o Kuan Yin. It's not a method, really. Não é um método, na verdade. It is the power of God. É o poder de Deus. Work through any human power. 
que trabalha através de qualquer pessoa. Be Jesus, Buda, Lao Tzu, or you, or Pode me. Pode ser Buda, Jesus, Lao Tzu, ela ou você. Once you are in contact with the inner power, with God power. Uma vez que você esteja em contato com o poder de Deus. And you are given the authority to transmit this to other people. Então você tem autoridade para passar isso para outras pessoas. Then you can say you are teaching the Guanin method. Então você pode dizer que está ensinando o método Guanin. But there is no method. Mas não existe o um método. It all depends on the master who opened the secret wisdom for you. Tudo depende do mestre que abre a chave do, desse segredo. When the master transmit the so-called Guanin. It, the master doesn't speak anything. Quando o mestre ensina o Kuanin, ele não fala nenhuma palavra. And don't do anything. Ele não faz nada. And do not tell you to do anything. E ele não te pede para fazer nada. It is because of the silent power. É o poder do silêncio. The unwritten method. É o um método que não se escreve. Therefore, it's called method, but a very invisible method, unwritten. Não, não é para se escrever o um método. No use in language. Não, não, não existe palavras para explicá-lo. If you are in contact with this light or the sound of God inside, se você tiver em contato com essa luz, by any mean, de, de qualquer forma, then you are in, in the Kuan Yin method. Então você está dentro do método Kuan Yin. Then you are successful as a Kuan Yin method practitioner. Então você tem o sucesso da prática do Kuan Yin. Yes, but if you haven't, mas se não Then you should come to any teacher who can help you. Então você deve procurar um professor que te ajude. To get the immediate light or the sound of God. Para te dar a iluminação mais that's, rápida. Eu that's what I call Kuan Yin. É por isso que chamam Kuan Yin. Okay. okay. Been contemplating on the vibration, the sound, the words, the instruction of God. Entrar em contato com a instrução, com o som de Deus. That so-called voice of God, or voice of silence, or the sound of God. Is our own Buddha nature, our own vibration, our own wisdom, our own God nature. A nossa própria vibração é o que é chamada de, da natureza de Buda, do ensinamento de Buda. If we have one problem is that, you see, even at the time of death, before you go into the three evil paths, just before that, even if you remember Buddha's name, just one Buddha's name, or one sentence from here, then, then the, the road to hell is close for you, even if you've done a lot of bad things. Everything is illusion anyway, killing, stealing, robbing, it's, it's all back and forth, karma in the cycle of uh, revenge and back and forth, each other. So therefore, the name of the Buddha is true, you know, at least truer than those uh, karmic consequences. So if you re repeat the names of the Buddha, meaning your mind, your thinking are toward the truth instead of toward the fake, then immediately the hell and all the bad destiny close in front of you. So at least you are saved for that life. And then you will be born in, maybe in heaven or human's being, But then who knows the next life if you even remember the Buddha's name again, if nobody, anybody remind you again, okay? It's not like all the person on the planet, the planet know the names of these Buddhas, even though the Buddhism is spreading everywhere. But most of the Buddhist monks, they are modest, you see? Yeah. If you offer them something, then they take it. If you don't offer, they don't do anything. If you build a temple, help them build a temple, then they accept and they stay there. And uh, if, you want to, if you come and ask them about Buddhist Sutra, then they will tell you. If you don't ask, they also don't tell. They're not like outgoing, getting, make lecture everywhere, everybody knows the Buddha's name. You see what I mean? Yeah. Therefore, even to know the Buddha's name is very difficult already. And then, okay, you are rescued that lifetime when you die then you are not going to hell, but you don't know next life, okay? Suppose you even know the names of the Buddha. When you die, you know, all the karma come and tear you apart. Your thought, your body is, is all in pain, mostly, if you are very sinful in, when you are alive, then when you die, it's very suffering. And maybe you can't even remember the name of the Buddha. 
So at least just say, pray to all the Buddhas in the ten direction. Please rescue me. Just say that because the names are sometimes difficult, you know. So just remember one name, maybe Sekamoni Buddha, Medicine Buddha, <laughs> Earth Star Bodhisattva. This simple name, okay? Or Kuan Yin Bodhisattva. Tell them that. That's why uh, many people just tell tell the outside lay people to recite Kuan Yin Bodhisattva, you know, <laughs> or, or Sekamoni. You know, it's easier because they are famous. Or Amitabha, understand? Otherwise, all the names of other Buddha is very difficult to remember all. Or one name is enough. It's just only the difficulty is that only if you remember it at the time of dying or anyone reminds you of that, that is a problem. But I also sing, I sing this song, Namo Amitabha Buddha, in Chinese. That's also good. You just give it to them, to the Buddhists. They don't mind, they accept it. They don't care about me, about my teaching, but they know I'm singing the Buddha's name. That will be okay in their ears. That's why I sing it, okay? Even the Catholic heard it, okay too. The Sikh heard it, okay too. It's still the name of the Buddha. The Buddhas don't care if you're Sikh or if you're Hindu. They're all the same up there. They're all friends, you know? The Sikh guru is also a Buddha. Yeah, the Hindu master also a Buddha. So it doesn't matter. You just one tape like that, it's okay. That is why there is a tradition when people die, they invite the priests. Some don't even know why. But when they come, they read the names of Jesus Christ, for example, you know? Yeah. Or they read the name of what the, or some Hindu masters or some Sikh guru. Then you heard the name of the Buddha when you die. That's a Buddha, any Buddha. Then you also rescue that moment from hellfire. Once you're out of it, it's, then you have more chance to, to improve and then to be rescued more later. If you're in hell already, then you stay there until don't know when, until your sin is finished. Once the sentence already passed down, it's very difficult, very difficult. Unless you have a living master already initiated, maybe. Yeah, it depends also on the power of that master and on the sin that you made. You think, okay, it's one name of the Buddha, I remember. Even if you're not initiated, you say you remember. But at the time of death, maybe not. Just on the verge of death, you have to recite it then. Or before you go into hell, at the hell gate, you must recite it then. <laughs> In the forty-nine days, if people keep repeating it to you, then maybe you're okay. But if not, then there's just so much suffering there. You, you, you heard it, right? It's terrible, terrible. And when it's forever, forever, forever like that, then it's really, really, I don't know how anyone could even fall into that and bear it. Sometimes you're sick, you have headache, just two, three hours, and you can bear already. Imagine, huh? or you operate it, or you cut yourself, or wounded, or have to bandage, or cast, you know, in cast, and you're terrible already. Imagine anything else, forever, forever like that, day and night, non-stop. Oh, God! It is precious to be human, but it's a curse also. It depends on how you take care of your life. Very difficult to go on the right path because survival leads you to every opposite or bad directions which you don't even want. But then slowly you go in there and you can't go out anymore. You don't remember even how to get out. Survival make you do many things. And even when you die, if you don't have a master or if you don't have somebody Reach sutras or remind you the name of the Buddha. Many of the girls who come and you know, in these forty-nine days or when you are dying, they come and appear like your your dead father or your past mother or brother, sister, auntie, whatever. They come and say, "Hey, come with me. This is the way," and you trust them because you think these are relatives. So you are attacked by all sides. 
by your own karma and by by the goals and so if there is no benevolent being just such as the the ghost king of life or the earth star bodhisattva who will try so mightily to fight away these ghosts and then you fall any time into hell of course you don't have to remember any of them yeah uh-huh. yeah if you have one master he's good yes just many other don't have Many others don't have. You know, a lot of people in the world don't have anything. They don't even believe in Jesus or Buddha or Guru Nanak or Mahavir. I always shake a lot when I meditate. Uh, how do I overcome that? Hmm. Just don't shake. I, it's beyond my control. It's okay. You take a break, take a cold water, and meditate again. Hmm? Okay. I'll take a walk, okay? I'll do some exercise to release some of the, your physical uh, energy huh? before you meditate, okay? Master, is that Kundalini energy? Uh, we have physical energy and we have uh, psychic energy, we have emotional energy, we have uh, uh, this kind of life force energy, all kind of energy, okay? The Kundalini is something that is coiled from the base of the spine, yeah? And it go up sometimes, okay? Uh, if people practice Kundalini yoga, then it will come up. But do you practice that? No, but I feel that the energy comes from the bottom, the base. Uh-huh. But it doesn't move up. It, okay. I mean, my whole body just shake. Uh, then uh-huh. don't mind about that. Just recite the five names. Concentrate where you should do. Okay. okay. And before that, do some physical exercise uh-huh. to release some of the uh, pent up kind of uh, maybe a negative thinking or negative uh, influence from others or from yourself. Uh, karma. Uh huh. And then sit, meditate, okay? And do the breathing exercise that I've told you. No, you don't know? Uh, before you meditate, you lay down flat, yeah? And you breathe in through your nose, yeah? Very long, deep breathing. Breathe, lead all the way to your solar plexus, which is, you know, like near the stomach area. Feel that it's come full, yeah? And after it's full, you you lead it to your chest and then to your head, okay? And let it go uh, by your mouth and also imagine it comes out. Uh-huh. Do a couple of times or six times, yeah? Uh, before that, do exercise, yeah? Maybe you are young, okay? Have a lot of energy pent up inside. So do, do some physical exercise, okay? Uh, the exercise that you like to do, hmm? even just uh, jumping rope, do push up at home, or running a little bit, uh, running in one place, hmm? release some of the, your energy, a young, <laughs> energetic uh, kind of chi. Huh? And after that, you do the breathing to calm down, 